What's up everyone? It's Ryan here again and I'm back with another review. Um, so if you couldn't tell by the thumbnail already, we're going to be looking at the SH Figure Arts sec uh, Frieza Second Form. I already started opening up the package and then I stopped myself and said, you know what, I should get this on the channel. I don't just do turtle figures, I do other figures as well. So um, I'm going to start making that a thing more often because I've just been on a turtle craze lately. Anyway, back to this. Um, so, funny thing is, is that I forgot this was coming in. I kind of forgot I bought it in general. I can't believe I got this. Um, because, first off, I forgot I got it. <laughs> I'm coming home after I got off work from 5 o'clock uh, Eastern Time. And I'm coming upstairs around almost 6 now, like 6, almost 6.30. And there's a FedEx guy coming in my building and he's following me into the elevator and getting off my floor. And I'm just like, wait a second, hold on a second. What's going on here? Are you stalking me? And he's like, oh, this is for you. You live here? I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh, Ryan Sonera? Yeah, that's me. There you go. Okay, thanks. Um, what is this? And then I check my email notification. Nothing. I check my shipping app every morning. I've gotten everything that I'm going to get and everything I'm expecting to get is not coming in for a long time. So I was just really caught off guard by this and then as I'm opening this package and I stop myself going, no, I need to make this for the channel, um, I'm going to get all the stuff I do to you know, record and I get the email from Hobby Genki saying that I got this back in September 2022. This is a... a a month before Comic-Con, so that's definitely catching me off guard because I usually don't buy anything before Comic-Con. I go to Comic-Con and um, I usually save up the month before so I have money for Comic-Con. But yeah, that, I completely forgot I got this, guys. I really did. I caught me off guard. I paid uh, something, it was yen, but it came out to 99 US dollars. Uh, 9,990 yen, uh, 1,000 yen, 9,000 yen, almost 10,000 yen. Um, but after the shipping and everything, I, I think it came out to like 102. So yeah, that's how much I paid for freaking second form Frieza. Still not as much as people are paying for Metacooler, that's for sure. All right. Um, this is crazy. I, I'm just so caught off guard by this for a while. Before I got that email notification, I was thinking that they made a mistake because I saw it came from Japan and I'm like, I didn't order anything from Japan. Well, I did. I just completely forgot about it. This is what happens when you uh, smoke some of the Chiba Chiba and then go online late at night and start, you know, figure hunting. And I told myself I wasn't going to get this. I forgot I got this because I, I went to freaking Comic-Con and they had it there to buy and I was like, nah. Right. Probably just dented the box a little bit, but that's okay. I'm not keeping this for box. I'm not a box collector. So I mean, you are, you're seeing that right there. And you're like, oh my God, nah, I don't care. Holy crap, there he is. There he freaking is. Holy crap. This is Christmas all over again. I, I can't deal with this right now, man. First, I find Brooklyn out of nowhere in Forbidden Planet a little while ago. Uh, and then, uh, like, last week to be specific. And then this now. I, like, I psyched myself out. I can't believe I didn't know or remember that I was getting this. I would have probably freaked out a lot more today and giving myself way more reason to stress out than I needed to because uh, like this package came way later than usual and it came from FedEx. I don't have good experiences with FedEx. I don't know about you guys, but FedEx sucks over here. They don't knock on the door a lot and they leave the packages in front of the door, take pictures and just walk away. I live in the projects of New York City. That's not a good idea. I have packages stolen because of that. So I took care of that. Now, I don't know if you guys Remember my SH Figure Arts uh, turtle video. If you didn't, go check it out. But if you have, this is what I was talking about. Instruction booklets are a thing of the past for uh, uh, Bandai. At least for the SH Figure Art 
uh, boxes. Now they do them on the side panels of the box. I I think it's cool. I just I kind of missed uh, the instructions because that was another thing you could collect, you know, pointlessly collect, but collect nonetheless. It was a little thing I did. All right. So this is the back of the box. I've shown it a few times already. We're gonna get straight into the figure now. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with uh, Dragon Ball figures, especially the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball figures, these are some of the best figures available, right? But there, there tends to be QC issues 50-50. I would say 70-30 a lot of times. So some people get really good figures. Some people get really QC issue figures. That's how I'll say it. QC issue. I didn't say bad. I said QC issue. Now, so far, I'm not seeing any issues here. Um, oh my God, this is amazing. Is everything okay here? I want to make sure you guys are seeing this. Let's get this more HD. I'm sorry if it wasn't too HD before. I'm HD in it as much as possible now. Let's get some lighting here. Am I gonna get an auto? No, because I touched it. Now I gotta do it all the time. Look at that. Very well sculpted, very well painted. I haven't even taken the the plastic ribbon out of them yet. Wow, this is pretty damn good for a figure. I I was really gonna pass on him. I really was. I don't remember getting him. I can't, in fact, blah, I can't even talk. In fact, I thought I did pass on him. I really did, but I, apparently I didn't. I got him. And this kind of annoys me a tiny bit, but in a good way. I'm happy that I got him, but I'm annoyed now because now I have to figure out where he's going to go. He's a pretty tall figure. He's not as bulky as I thought he would be, but he's pretty tall. So that's going to cause issues on where I have the rest of those figures displayed. Damn, his tail is ginormous. And he's got another pair of feet here. Wow. Oh my god. Sorry about this, guys. I'm going to focus. Hold on. There we go. These feet are a little different. He's got like hanging toes on these. Much more realistic, to be honest with you. His other feet, the feet that he has on now, they're kind of just like flat-toed. It reminds me a lot of E.T. He's definitely got some E.T. feet. E.T., blow up your planet. You threaten our race and our reign of power. Such a bad E.T. voice. Um, so... I haven't watched Dragon Ball in a while. I used to watch it all the time, every day, all the time, all my life. And then I kind of just stopped uh, after about two years ago. I started reading the manga and then the manga started getting a little like, so I kind of just fell off Dragon Ball. Maybe that's why I stopped collecting him so much, but I don't think so. I think it's because I'm kind of just done. I have so much already and there's only so much you can get, man, before it's like, okay, I'm good. Don't get greedy. Although it's easy to get greedy when you're a collector. All right, this video may cut off in the next, in fact, it is gonna cut off in the next minute. So I'm just gonna connect them, pick up where I left off. Got a Dragon Ball in here too. So I'm just showing you the rest of the accessories in here. And the uh, next part will be basically me taking these out and putting his different faces on his head. And uh, maybe we get, the feet on, different feet, get some different hands on, I'll put the tail together in front of you, in front of you, oh wait, hold up, this is the whole tail, and this is the cutoff one, holy crap, oh that's so awesome, I can't wait for pictures, pictures are gonna happen, and then let me know, tell me if you want me to do some pictures with uh, the turtles, I've been thinking about doing a DBZ turtles crossover, because they're, you know, completely opposites. <laughs> Be right back. 
and I'm back. Um, I mean, they're both into martial arts, but, um, you know, these guys are powerhouses. The Dragon Ball characters, I, I would never dare to put any fantasy matches up, like matchups of like, you know, like death battle or whatever. I would never do that because there's like, Krillin could kick freaking the turtles asses. I'm sorry to say that, but yeah. Krillin could definitely do some damage because it's not that the turtles aren't strong. It's that they're coming from a different kind of universe where they they're, have rules based on different limits. And the characters from here have barely any limits. Whenever they reach their limits, they push past them again and again. Like, it's, it's getting pretty crazy now in the manga. I'm kind of like getting out of it. It's like, they're not going the way I thought they would with the power levels. And honestly, they just should just canonized Super Saiyan 4 already. Alright, I'm having some difficulty getting this tail in in case you guys haven't noticed. And I'm trying to do it on camera so you can see it, but I can't get a good grip without knocking this over. Yeah. Okay. Hold on a second. Give me a second. Watch that. Leave it there. It's also, I don't want to put too much pressure to break the figure, you know, like. That's as much pressure as I can put without busting it and it just won't go on. What's up with that? Hmm. Very interesting. All right, that goes on. So maybe this is not... Huh. Maybe this comes off? No, I don't think so. Let's check the instructions. So apparently this bottom part comes off. Ah, there we go. Da, 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 da. This is brought to you by reading. <laughs> reading Rainbow. Not not really. Please don't copyright me. Um, <laughs> um, so that's how you do it. There we go. That hurt my brain for a little while there and it would have hurt a lot less if I just did that awesome little tool excuse me use that awesome little tool called my eyes and my brain so I could just read and figure it out there we go there we go so much better okay damn his tail is really long but it's supposed to be like that There we go, now we got a realistic. Sorry if I was doing that off camera there. All right. Sorry for how rough this is, but I'm, you know, I'm just doing it off the bat. I'm not gonna do takes after takes to get it to look perfect or whatever. Screw it, it is what it is right now. And what's awesome is, is that this guy is acting a lot like uh, the gargoyle with his tail. His tail is acting like a stand. Doesn't really need it. I had him standing up before without the tail, but now he's even sturdier. Like there's so much, firmness in his stance now that's pretty cool okay that is pretty cool all right see if I can bring this back a little more all right there okay now let's see here take off his feet it's a lot easier okay yeah because this shouldn't be difficult it really shouldn't I shouldn't have had to go through everything I just went through with that tail but it's because I was putting on the tail incorrectly. I just put on the same foot. Doo, doo, doo. Whoa, and then I took off the whole ball peg. Is that what's supposed to? No, that's not what's supposed to come off. Well, I have done that before, though. I'm not gonna lie. Now it's just difficult to know how we're gonna. It came off so easy before. Why not? There we go. Okay. 
So now we put this on. And then we put this on. Dude, where am I going to put this, man? Uh, if you guys haven't seen it yet, check out my Dragon Ball collection videos on my channel. So you can see why I'm going frick me right now. Where am I going to put this? All right, now, the one thing I've noticed is that, yeah, those feet are more realistic, but they're not as firm, so this is where the tail is going to come in. Beautiful. And then I could actually get him standing on a ledge, and the toes will, like, hang over the, the ledge. I do like how they look, though. It's a little more menacing, a little more, I don't know, Neanderthalish or apish. I don't know. It's just more instinctual. He's so beast mode. I'm gonna have to do a size comparison between him and the other figures. Maybe not just Dragon Ball too. Do the gargoyles, do everybody, because he's not the tallest figure I have, without a doubt, no, but he's one of the tallest. And it's because of the horns, yeah, but also because of his body. Like, this dude is crazy big and tall. Um, so we switched out the feet. I'll switch out one of his hands. I already know what I'm gonna, yeah. Now, this shoulder pegs, that, that's a little annoying to be honest with you because you want it to look normal, but if you figure out the positioning right, you should be able to get it come down still. So. So it doesn't look awkward because that's part of his body that's not like i mean it's armored body but it's still his body okay yeah that looks nice um let's get him back there and then his heads we have a different horned head completely. That's dope. It just gave you an extra head. And I don't think this is how he's supposed to do it. He's supposed to put the back part on too, I think. But I'm just going to try this to see how it looks. Is this how it... Well, here are his different faces. Oh, you can't see them because there's no light. I apologize. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Oh, and I took out the light with me. How professional. So, we have these faces right here, and I think I'm gonna use the laughing face. I love that face. We also have a smiling face as well, just like a smirk. But um, yeah, we'll go with the smiling face. This is gonna go over 20 minutes, I think. But it won't be that long. So you guys just know right now that the video is gonna end, but I'll be right back. And I'm right back, hopefully. Yeah, that looks great, I love that. Now he also has this face. And this is the face of him being pissed. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that face too, but I want the, the laughing face. Head is an easy removal, very good. You know what? I don't even have to do anything with the face. I just put on a different head down. As soon as I can. How am I doing that without that happening though? Okay. Is it on? No. I think it's because the peg is bending when I'm putting pressure. Ah, there we go. So you just gotta try your best to keep that stable. Articulation, man, wow. 
he's digging the song right now. <laughs> I'm having too much fun here, but can you blame me? Like, I didn't see this coming. And he's just so amazing. Like, I feel like I didn't pay for him, but I did. I did pay for him. It's just I paid for him so long ago that it's like, it's not affecting my budget as it is right now. And it's great. It feels great. It's like... That's, that's the whole point about collecting wise and, and buying smart. You have to invest. You have to save up. Save and save and try your best not to buy every little thing that comes out and wait it out. Wait it out. And then, you know, having connections from friends always helps as well. That always helps. But uh, for this, I didn't have any connections. I just went on Hobby Genki really late at night. Super blazed out of my mind and went on a buying spree. I'm, I'm hoping this is the only thing I got. This is this is a buying spree for me. I don't need to buy mad figures. This was a pretty hefty buy. Like, geez louise. But I got him. It's over with. I will update you guys with where I'm going to be putting him. Where he's going to be going. In the display case. How the display case is going to look. I'll be doing an update on the DBZ collection real soon. But uh, I want to focus on my other stuff first. Um... I have other videos I want to show you guys and other things I want to, you know, show everyone. And I've reached 100 subscribers, over 100 subscribers. Thank you so much, everybody. I love you so freaking much. I meant to do that in the beginning of the video and I completely forgot because this whole figure coming in out of nowhere with FedEx following me, that threw me off. That really did threw me off. I was like, why is FedEx following me? But he's following me because he has a, pick uh, a, a package for me. I can't even talk now. I'm getting too excited. All right. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for... All the subscribes please continue to subscribe if you haven't already go ahead and do it hit that notification bell so you know when more stuff is coming out i have a lot of goodies to show you this was a totally uh you know catch off guard uh and you know i didn't mean that i i really didn't i just i just had to show this because you know i'm doing figure reviews so why not i'll end it here with uh if i can I'm having issues getting it out of the, there we go i'll end it with you guys looking at the dragon ball the four star Dragon Ball, Goku's ball. I hate Goku. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace, peace.